All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. We're here in the Philadelphia area at the time of filming. It is February, the middle of February. We had a, a snowy day this morning. The sun's out now and everything's kind of melting. But I wanted to stress the point to you guys that when you grow fig trees in cold climates, uh, like you see here, I'm in zone 7A, uh, and you can see obviously there's snow on the ground today. But if we're gonna grow fig trees in cold climates, we have to pay attention to something called lignification. And lignification is just simply the hardening of our branches. And you can see at the top parts of our branches, they're quite pliable. But as time goes on, as the trees have leaves on them during the growing season, they're able to use that photosynthesis, that energy generated from photosynthesis, and naturally uh, complete this hardening process. And this hardening process of the wood um, is so important for getting our fig trees through the winter time. And I get this question all the time, guys. Ross, why does my fig tree not survive the winter? Uh, it's a hardy variety. Let's say it might even be hardy Chicago. You know, it's supposed to be a hardy variety. Why isn't it getting through the winter time like it should? Or, you know, it's now actually the fall or the summer that you guys asked me this question. Uh, Ross, why doesn't my fig tree fruit? Why is it not producing figs? And that's the, that is really the same problem. Because when our fig trees don't fruit or don't uh, get through the winter time, excuse me, they have a much less likely chance of fruiting. And it's all about the plant hormones. I've been talking to you guys about this topic to death. I know hormones are not really the, the sexiest thing that people want to talk about or listen to, but hormones, when um, we're talking about the production of any fruit tree, is of the utmost critical um, piece of information that you have to understand. And this can be applied to all, so many other fruiting plants. I mean, the apples, the pears, the stone fruits, they have the same problem, that if you have a, a fruit tree in general that's not fruiting, a lot of that is probably because you're doing a lot of excessive winter pruning. Uh, there's about four main reasons that a fig tree will not fruit. I've talked a lot about this. We actually have created a blog post. Uh, go to my blog, figboss.com. I'll put the link in the description. You can see that blog post as to why your fig tree is not fruiting. This is one of the main reasons in that our figs are not lignified properly. And they're not lignified properly because we do excessive pruning we do the wrong kind of pruning, or our fig trees now in the winter time take too much damage. And so it's all the same thing because the hormones are affected when we cut branches or when we cut away from uh, branches of our fig trees or even any of our fruit trees. You know, if you have a, a stone fruit, an apple, a pear tree, you know, these are the fruits that need to be pruned during the summertime because when we prune them in the summertime, that changes the hormones in our trees in a way that actually encourages them to fruit and flower in future years. The fig tree is unlike those trees because we can't really do excessive summer pruning. Unless you really know what you're doing, you certainly can. But um, that's not a common practice. And so a lot of us then uh, just you know, have no choice but to do winter pruning. And if we do winter pruning in the wrong kind, we do a lot of heading cuts rather than thinning cuts. We're going to change the hormones in a way that's going to encourage our fig trees to grow excessively into the summer and into the fall. And so now that's happened actually with some of the fig trees here in this plot. This is the southern plot here of my yard. I have about four or five plots that I have fig trees planted. Uh, in this plot, actually, we have 60 fig trees, believe it or not. Uh, they're spaced two foot on center. And this one here in particular has done a decent job last year actually surviving the wintertime. I managed to protect the base of the tree. And by protecting the base of the tree, um, it then started to put out a lot of new growth here last year. It grew really tall. It's now probably about eight or nine feet in height. Uh, but the problem is it grew too excessively. And so going into now this last fall and summer, it did not stop its growth to actually allow it to lignify properly like we talked about in the beginning of this video. So it wasn't prepared for the winter time. And so as a result, even though we've had here in the Philadelphia area, this is my main message of today's video, even though it has been very mild this season. We talked about recently in the last video that we did, 
we've only seen here in the Philadelphia area a low of 14 degrees Fahrenheit. That is really mild in terms of fig trees. You know, uh, most varieties can survive 10 without any damage. Uh, fewer varieties, I would say about five to 10% of varieties will survive about five degrees Fahrenheit. And then much fewer, maybe about a percent or two and a half percent of varieties in, in existence can survive about zero degrees Fahrenheit. White Triana here, which is the tree we're looking at behind me, is one of the hardier fig varieties. But it only got down to 14 and we see damage here at the tops of the branches. We also see damage here down here at the base. And so these branches, I can actually even break them apart with my hand. I don't even have to do the scratch test to see what's alive. Um, sometimes that's a bit misleading at this time of the year. Uh, and we won't really know what exactly is alive until the spring when the fig trees actually wake up permanently. Uh, but in general, this fig tree here, because it's not lignified properly, because it grew excessively, because the hormones were changed in a way that was not proper, these fig trees enter a vicious cycle of they are not going to survive the winter time really ever until we're able to break the cycle by having either what happened this year, which is a very mild winter, or we're able to protect the fig trees in a way that makes it so that the hormones in the trees don't change in a negative way that allows them the fruit and also stops that growth from happening late into the summer, late into the fall, where they really shouldn't be growing. They should be preparing for that winter time. So that was the main message I wanna get across to you guys is that even though we should be choosing in these colder zones, like zone five, six, seven, even eight, we should choose a hardy fig variety. It's important, the genetics are important. But what's equally, or I should say even more important is my argument today, is that these branches on all these fig trees need to be well lignified. And if you're not gonna do that, you're gonna always have a fig tree that struggles to survive the winter time and not take damage. And you may even later down in the season, depending on how severe your pruning was, depending on how severe the winter cold was and all that winter damage was, you're gonna have a fig tree that just really struggles to fruit. And every fig tree is different. Some actually don't mind being pruned as much, like my Ronde Bordeaux on the other side of the house. It's actually a tree that uh, has this awesome ability to stay in hormonal balance and continue to grow and continue to fruit at the same time. But most fig trees are not like that. And even some really don't like pruning like none. So I thank you guys here for watching this one. I hope you learned something. This lignification thing, man, it's, it's just so important. I had to share it with you guys. Please hit the subscribe button for me. Hit that like button for me. And we will catch you guys for the next video. I hope everybody's going to have a nice fig season coming up. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.